Yo guys, Jonathan here, and this is a $50 MacBook Pro dummy. So if you're thinking to yourself, why is he sliding that poor MacBook across the table? Do not worry, it is fake. What had happened was I got this email from China, as you do, asking if I wanted to buy a $50 MacBook Pro dummy and thought to myself, I would be stupid not to. So seven to 10 international business days later, this thing arrives in this super sketchy, mysterious white box. I honestly had no idea what to expect, but much to my surprise, I was surprised. Oh man. It's metal, holy. I thought it was, honestly, I thought it was gonna be plastic. This thing feels like an actual MacBook. It's got the space gray, USB-C ports, headphone jack. It's got some heft to it. I am actually really surprised for 50 bucks. This is kind of crazy. I don't think it turns on. <laughs> That's a fake screen. So the screen is weird. It is almost so fake that you kind of got to double check to make sure that it's not real, if that makes sense. I will give these guys an A for effort for trying to replicate the screen. But once you look closely, you can see how hilarious some of the translations are. So if you look towards the top next to the Apple logo, we see Finder, File, and the Editor, according to To Travel To, Window, and Help. Next to the battery icon, we can see Spell It, and then my personal favorite, the date on Thursday afternoon, 5.31. This is clearly modeled after a 13 inch Space Gray MacBook Pro and I am surprised at how much detail went into this down to the giant trackpad, the port, the weight, even the Space Gray finishes close until you get them side by side. What I immediately noticed with the real MacBook Pro, it actually had more of a gradient to it when the light hit it as opposed to the clone where it was kind of flat. If you look closely too, as I move my hand across, you can see how much more of a reflection the real MacBook Pro picks up as opposed to the fake one. So with that much detail, if this thing would have turned on, it would have been freaking amazing. But of course, with it being a non functioning dummy, I still had a backup plan. Earlier today, I brought over my buddy Chris to talk about the next Dream Desk design, so drop a like if you're excited for that, but I also wanted to see if I could get him to believe this was a real MacBook and drop it right in front of him. All right, Chris, don't laugh at this, okay? I drew this up in like, yeah, here, grab it. Oh, Jesus, you, oh no. Jesus, this is fake. Yeah, it is. You can't, you can't get it. He caught it! I gotta get someone else next. I know, we're gonna get Evans. Well, it's actually pretty heavy. Yeah, I was surprised. Like, the only, the only dead giveaway is the screen. It's a $50 MacBook clone. This, really? Yeah. That's made to Wait. just be a prop? Yeah, I guess so. That's funny. <laughs> So have you guys dropped it? No, you got cat-like reflexes. <laughs> no one, who catches that like on the first? Yeah, that's a funny guy. He caught it like right here too. He was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, well, this sucks. That clearly didn't work thanks to Mr. Chris's ninja reflexes. So my next target was Mr. Austin Evans. I was a little apprehensive because he knew in some way there was a fake MacBook around, but I wanted to try it anyways. Oh my. Dude! Evans, you reacted so good, man. Well, first thing I looked when I saw that the, it was like all bent up. <laughs> That's such a joke. Yeah, he took too long to like grab it. He had to analyze it from the, from the outside. Yeah, you should have dropped it quicker. You dropped that. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> you almost got it. You get that reflex, man. You were too, you were too late. <laughs> Evans! What? With <laughs> So that reaction with Evans is definitely a little better. I'm not sure what else this dummy could be good for aside from a joke. It would be insanely evil and super heartbreaking if you got someone a MacBook Pro for their birthday or as a gift and pop this inside instead. Realistically, it could be used in a store as a demo model so no one jacks the real thing. But other than that, there really isn't much use out of this. Now again, I will say there was a ton of detail that went into this, so much in fact that I was curious to see what was inside this pile. So after trying to pry this open, shaking it around, pulling it open, we of course are left inside with more plastic. Aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. And I know a $50 MacBook Pro dummy giveaway is not interesting, but what is, is a Nintendo Switch and also some custom painted AirPods, which you can check out here. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.